Stay tuned for more. Hello, this is a special episode of The Colors of Feminism. Today's topic will be rape culture. What exactly is rape culture, you may ask? Well, this Beth will tell you. According to a recent rape culture is an environment in which rape is prevalent and in which sexual violence against women is normalized and excused in the media and popular culture. So, what do you guys think about this topic? I found a poem written by two high school students, and they wrote it about rape culture throughout the past 50 years or so, and they basically were naming off every song that we always sing along to, listen to on the radio, that we don't even realize is rape. It's perpetuating the idea of rape. And I think they brought up some really good points, like, for example, the Robin Thicke song, when he says, I know you want it, or even Summer Nights from Greece, where the boys ask if she put up a fight. So we need to become more aware of what we're listening to, because we have been perpetuating a, a positive idea of rape throughout history. So we've been supporting it. If you think about it, rape culture is being glamorized in the media today. I think the media makes excuses for like rapists. Like, why is it that when a woman gets raped, they always say, oh, it's her fault, you know, she was, so, she was showing too much skin, or like, they say that, oh, you know, guys will be guys, or something like that. And they don't teach them when they're little, like, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. It focuses more on, like, um, telling the woman how they should be covering up, they shouldn't be walking by themselves. So they don't tell the men how they should. Exactly. In this article here, um, the author, she wrote about how she was surprised that when she told her friends and family about her situation, they asked her, when you were drinking, what did you expect? Which I think is pretty sad, considering that they didn't ask if she was okay, or they didn't feel, they weren't angry towards the rapist, but rather they were blaming her for being raped. I mean, why should women have to, like, 24-7 worry about what they wear, what they do, and what they say? Because, I mean, is it just because they're a woman, they have to always live in fear? We're told you can't wear anything showing your shoulders, you can't Because shoulders will turn on. That's you can't wrong. show your bra yeah. strap because they feel like... You can't like show too much neck. They feel like we should be covering ourselves just because the teenage boys that we go to school with can't control themselves. And I feel like we should be telling the boys not to act certain ways mm -hmm. towards girls rather than telling girls to cover themselves up more just because a guy will indulge in that kind of thing. I agree. I feel like girls are put to the test every single day and they have to act a certain way when they don't tell the boys how to act correctly. How uh, medias refuse to take rape accusations seriously. That was also mentioned in um, the Bill Cosby controversy going on right now. Um, what even, whether it's true or not, no one's going to be sure of right now. It hasn't been decided, but just the aspects of it are perpetuating the idea of rape culture. For one, nobody took this seriously until more than one woman said something, as in if one woman's voice is not enough to cause an interest. It's not allowed, it's not enough, it's ignored, because they think, oh, who cares? It's not that big of a deal, but now that there's more people saying things, now people seem to think, oh, maybe we should look into it. So if one woman says that she was raped, or it's going to be pushed aside because, oh, it's just a one woman. Nobody, nobody cares if it doesn't affect anyone else. Mm -hmm. I feel like people still don't take it seriously. Like, they just, they're assuming that they're lying. And I think that's really ridiculous because why would they lie? I mean, they're not gaining anything from it. Yeah. Why would they say something like that? Like, why would they say, oh, I was raped? That's a scary thing to do. Exactly. And if they were lying, I don't think they would do it. Why do you think it took them so long to say something? I mean, that's why people are saying that they're lying. Well, I heard it, it took them 
took so long to say something because I actually heard this from you because it, was, it made me ashamed or scared mm -hmm. and they feel as though one person did it, well let me do it. And then someone yeah. else experienced that, well let me do it. So it's just like a continuation. It gives them courage. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's not enough. Yeah, exactly. If someone, if someone is strong enough to do it, I can be strong enough to do it. Because when you're raped, it's more you feel ashamed and you don't want to break that kind of... You don't want to break that up, you know, in, if you're talking to your friends, you don't want to say, oh yeah, you know, I was raped, because it's not something that you want to flaunt around, it's something that you want you to keep hidden, about. Yeah, exactly. and you don't want people to know, you don't want people to see that as a weakness. Exactly. Because mm -hmm. we're taught that it's our fault, so why, I don't want to tell my friends. Yeah. And it's more harder on a woman than a guy. Yeah. Because they feel the shame, they feel disgusting. And they also feel that they'll be told that it was their fault. So they'll be told, well, what did you do to provoke it? How did you dress? How did you act? Did you drink anything? And that really shouldn't matter when it comes to the fact that they were touched without giving things up to me. Exactly. Did you guys know that one in three women are victims of a type of sexual violence? It's sad. It's really sad when you think about it. Also in the news today, a lot of women are coming up saying that they have been raped, especially in the military. And a lot of people wonder, why don't people take that seriously? There was 26,000 cases filed in the year 2012 of women being raped in the military. That's kind of astonishing, don't you think? Yes, it is. Especially in the military, women are to be seen as the strong, independent women. They say they were vulnerable at that time. It's just, no one's going to take them seriously. And it's pretty crazy considering that, you know, when you think about the military, imagine people that are stand up people that are willing to give their lives to serve the country. Yeah. I mean, they're doing this for us. They're serving, serving in the military for us to save our lives. But they're serving in the military and risking their lives. They'd rather sexually assault women. I don't see what? that. I don't see the sense in that. Like, yeah, yeah. It makes no sense. Like, it really doesn't. It's sad. It is you can't even do your job without being scared for your life to be sexually assaulted. You can't even tell your, um, what's it called? General? You can't even tell your. You can't even, you can't even come to your lieutenant and tell them that you're being raped without them not even taking it seriously. In the comments, how can we help you to answer this question? How can we help solve this issue? How can we change and change the world and make a difference? If you agree with what we're saying, please like this video for support. All our social media links will be down in the description, so make sure you follow us there. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching. The calls are for you. Bye.